What's up, YouTube? So, back at it again with another video. Um, it's been a little bit longer than a week, but, you know, still working on that, that timeliness. But, um, but anyways, so, um, today's topic, I was going to cover um, a question that was um, asked to me several months ago. Um, and it's been kind of bounced around in my head, and I was like, it's, it's a really good topic, but, you know, I, I don't know how to go about it. And at first, I was kind of like, you know, I'm not going to do it at all. Um, somebody asked me in the comments section on one of my videos, um, you know, um, please continue posting. And, and uh, could you also do a video about, you know, dating advice? And, you know, I thought on it. And, you know, unfortunately, in the community, which I'm sure, you know, you ladies are very, very much well aware of these individuals, you all have a name for them. Um, um, the more politically correct way of saying it is they are chasers. Usually there's another word that follows that, but I'm not going to say that word. don't really like that word. But anyways, chasers. I, um, I don't want to, you know, put advice out there. I mean, I'd love to give advice to guys like me, which, you know, I'm no date connoisseur or anything like that, you know? Um, or anything like that. I'm definitely no expert on the, on the situation. But, I mean, I could throw in a couple of things in there for sure. Um, but I don't want to give any ammo to the chasers. Um, but I would like to cover um, personality types. Um, kind of for the, for the girls and whatnot. Um, to be, like, um, on the lookout for, I guess, is you know, um, what I'm trying to say, um, I gotta work on it, I say um a lot, you know, I'm trying to clean, clean my language up a little bit, you know, not that I have bad language, but just be a little more, um, crisp and more professional, but it just takes time, but yeah, um, here we go again, <laughs> personality types, so I've done a lot of research on, on this, uh, on myself, and I even asked some people, I sent them like a couple of little articles or a video or something like that. Out of all these, does this sound like me? Or does this sound like me based on like close friends and, and, and um, honest, unbiased family members? Um, but, you know, mostly close friends. And a lot of them agree that I sound most like a, a, a Sigma personality type. And I think part of the reason why I'm a Sigma personality type is a big reason is because I date within the trans community because you know a lot of people who are trans and whatnot you know they're pretty much self-made individuals you know and that could be inspiring to be a self-made person yourself somebody who is who's quote-unquote cisgender or whatever terminology you want to use um there we go. Um, um, um. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It, it inspired me to be, you know, in a way, not like, you know, it's not like a realization that popped in my head. I think it inspired me through just watching these people and how they are and how do they come to the conclusion of who they are. And I was able to take a small bit of that in a way, you know, you know, y'all trans individuals have inspired me through your actions to think deeper you know, within myself and to have a better understanding of myself in a way and you all led by example um, yeah so and Sigma personality types if you look into them they're usually self-made nobody is really born a Sigma personality type um, a Sigma personality type is usually somebody who um, doesn't really quite fit into the whole hierarchy of personality types. I mean, you have the betas, alphas, everybody knows about an alpha personality type, you know what I mean? You have beta personality type, a lot of people refer to beta personality types as, well, that person's a beta, they're kind of a beta bitch, you know, it is what it is, you know. And then you got the Omega and the Gamma personality types with the lesser of the knowns. And there's a little bit of conflicting information. When you go online and research, which, by the way, nobody, 
you know, I mean, some people I'm sure, but for the most part, nobody perfectly fits into these individual personality types. You know, like I'm mostly a Sigma personality type. The one thing that I probably wouldn't be a Sigma of me is, and it was kind of given to me too through, you know, car accidents that I've been working on myself is, you know, if I'm completely honest with myself, my, my confidence in a lot of things has been kind of shot here in the past couple of years. But I'm working on it, you know, and I'm getting better little by little, you know. But everything else, like, I'm open to new experiences and, and I've done all kinds of different things. If something doesn't suit me, I'm not going to sit on something that doesn't suit me that makes me miserable, you know, for too long, you know. And, but, yeah, I, uh, I digress. You know, a Sigma personality type is somebody who is, you know, you know, they're kind of outside the, the social hierarchy. They see things differently. They act differently. And a lot of times they, they, they can um, put people off unintentionally because of how they are, how they carry themselves. You know, and usually you can identify a Sigma as somebody who is, has a, a sense of, of confidence in themselves. And, a, and, and, a, a, uh, and again, I'm not saying if you are these other personality types, not saying you're any less or any better. I'm not saying that at all. It's just who you are as a person. But Sigma personality types, they, they, they don't give in to peer pressure real easily, if at all. Um, you know, I've been in situations where everybody was doing one thing, and, um, and you know, everybody's doing it because, you know, oh, that's what everybody does. And I've never been the type to give in to do that. I might try something for the fun of it, but it's not because of everybody's doing it. It's because it interests me in a way. I resonate with it in some sort of way. I can identify with it in some sort of way. But, but yeah, I'm not going to do something because everybody else is, is doing it, you know. Yeah, again, we can go back to the earlier video I was talking about where, you know, everybody, you know, in the gym, everybody sat on this side, I sat on the other side, you know. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's an earlier video, several months ago. You know, should check it out if you want to. But yeah, so you know, sigmas are usually self-made individuals. They're they're usually in some sort of position of management, but not always. Um, they don't really do things for social. Uh, what's the word? Somebody said to me, "What's the social clout?" I think that's a word. <laughs> um, and they can be socially awkward. And, you know, and not in a they're tripping over their words sort of sense, but socially awkward as in, you know, they don't, you know, they're not always necessarily up onto the most, you know, up to date lingo or, um, you know, they, they're not going to say something or do something because, oh, everybody's doing it. You know, they're very, very individualistic. You know, they're very much, you know, themselves, despite, you know, what other people try to get them to be. You know, these individuals are very hard to to change. If you're ever going to change that, change them, which, by the way, you should always be yourself unless you, you hurt other people like, you know, like you're a murderer or an abuser of some sort. Then yeah, you should change that. But if you're not hurting nobody, then you should never change because people pressure you to or, you know, oh, everybody's doing it, you know, like, you know, do these drugs or or drink until you puke because everybody's doing it. You know, I've run into that a lot, you know, especially, you know, when you go to the bars and stuff like that, which is, you know, natural. It's a bar, but, you know, but yeah, I digress. But yeah, so they're usually in a position of management, uh, not because they, they are an alpha male type, but because, you know, if there's something that interests um, Sigma individuals, they're going to learn about it. They're going to dive all into it. Um, they're going to research it and, and, you know, try to understand it. And, but another interesting thing about Sigma individuals, they're not above, you know, you know, being in a position that would be considered beneath them or or you know not of any value you know what i mean uh and it's not gonna have any qualms to them whatsoever you know um, a, a sigma individual likes to be in a position where their talents are being used for you know for what am i, what am I trying to say um um they're in a position where they get to use their talents to their fullest extent yeah, that's what I was trying to say. You know, I mean, I myself, 
will step down if I'm in a position at work or whatnot that it could pay more. But if there's another position I see that is, you know, you know, I don't know. It just says something to me. It's a lot more fulfilling to me and whatnot. I would gladly step down from from the higher paying position for the other position that you know is more suited to me as a person because I'm not driven by money. Which no, let's not get confused here. Money, unfortunately, is a necessity you need these days. But you know it shouldn't be the the end all be all when it comes to a, a decision that you make. It definitely needs to be a factor, unfortunately. But I view money as a tool. You know, I mean, if you got a hundred million dollars, like, you know, bro, why are you working? Like, you know, you got plenty of tools to go do what you you need to do. But hey, you know, is what it is. People got billions of dollars, and that doesn't make any sense. But, anyways, um, <laughs> so, you know, highly, highly individual. Um, excuse me, excuse me. Um, what am I trying to say? I can't think of the word at the moment. But, uh, yeah, driven by, you know, different things other than, than money, which, you know, you know, not saying every, all the other personality types are driven by money and whatnot, but even less so for a Sigma uh, individual. But the point I'm trying to make on that is it seems to me that a lot of, you know, trans women who are date, who date, um, who end up in a relationship, a long-term relationship with a guy... You know, the guy is used, not always, but used, seems to me that they are a Sigma individual because, you know, they think outside the box. They, they you know, they, they don't, they don't see the sense in judging, you know, people for just trying to be themselves, you know, highly motivated by, you know, individuality rather than, you know, being a conformist. So, you know. And I hope this doesn't come off as me trying to sound, you know, you know, egotistical or anything like that, you know, um, by me saying that I think I'm a Sigma person. For the most part, I am, but I have other things that are not very Sigma-like of me, you know, like the confidence. I have I have some confidence issues on certain um, aspects of my life, and there's other uh, areas of my life where I'm I'm as confident as as you need to be. So, but. You know, that's something to look into for, you know, for, you know, for for trans women and, and of course, you know, trans men. Um, of course, I don't know a whole lot about that side of, of the spectrum because, you know, they're, they're men. I'm not, I'm not interested in, in men. Um, I have some friends who are, who are trans men and I, I know some of what, you know, their day to day struggles, but I definitely know a lot more about the trans woman's perspective because, you know, duh, I've dated trans women. <coughs> so, but something to look into, maybe personality types to maybe help, you know, spot somebody you're more, you'd, you would uh, click more, you would resonate more, you know, because it isn't, it isn't uh, all about, you know, you know, about just a physical. I just got a really nasty message, I think. Hmm. From a blank profile. Interesting. I'll have to look into that and see what that's all about. Huh. Don't like distractions. But, but yeah, so, you know, check out, you know, personality types. Um, Sigma individuals, I feel like, are usually a lot more open-minded and they're very driven. I mean, if you get a Sigma individual, like, you know, like I, I just recently learned this about myself by reading and doing research. And I was just, I don't know, like when I've read all these articles about, I was like, it was like a light bulb went off and I kind of felt happy. And I remember I called a bunch of my friends like, oh my, this sounds so much like me, you know, it's, you know, cause I'm kind of, I'm a loner. That's a, that's another um, uh, uh, a thing about Sigma is they're usually loners too. And which I, I don't, like to be a loner, but that's just kind of how I am. I can't, it's hard for me to get a big group going. And my friends, they're a lot like me too, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of loner types, you know, with my exception of my friend Marvin, who I interviewed for my show. He's a, oh, he, he, he's very much not a loner. He's got all kinds of friends, you know, love old Marv to death. And if you're watching this Marvin, man, I love you, buddy. But, um, anyways, um, yeah. 
Um, Sigma individuals are very much, you know, loner types and whatnot. So, sorry, I lost my train of thought. And that's another thing I've been trying to get over. That, that's something I got from the car accident, too. I ended up with a TBI in that damn accident. I was trying to not curse, but I still cursed. <laughs> I almost said the uh, F-bomb, but it, it switched over to, to damn, but, you know, damn it all. <laughs> but, yeah, um, sometimes I'll lose my train of thought sometimes. Just give me a, bear with me a second. Um, so, yeah, Sigmas are loners, and uh, very much driven by individuality, and, oh, if you get with a Sigma guy, he will learn everything. So, sometimes... You know, my significant other is sometimes I, I kind of I can drive them up a wall because I just I do a lot of research and I come up uh, come up to them and be like, hey, you know this that and this and they're like, and they're appreciative, but sometimes they're like, oh my God, Corey, calm down. Like, yeah, I, we get it. You're smart and you know a lot of different things and whatnot. And I was like, oh, I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to be uh, insulting or whatnot. I just I just have a, a crave to learn things about you about you because I just think, you know, but you know. And sometimes I can come off as, you know, I think I'm a know-it-all, which I, I don't think I'm a know-it-all at all, but I can very much come off that way, trying to work on that. And, um, yeah. But, yeah, you know, so that's something to look into. I, I could tell you all the articles that I read. I could go word for word. But I think it would be best for, if you're really interested, go, go look up personality types and whatnot. And, um, you know, Sigma personality types, you know, it can be difficult to be with a Sigma personality types because we have a need to go off and do our own thing. We have our own, like, side projects that we have to go and do. And my, mine right now, my big side project is lifting weights, where another Sigma could be, like, you know, uh, Jack, who I think is a Sigma personality type, you know, almost to a T. You know, he, he has this project, he's working on this, um, I don't know exactly a whole lot, but it's like some sort of like, uh, he wants to do some sort of social media type startup company. And, you know, he's, he's worked different jobs too, much like me, you know, he was in the military, he's, you know, he had no qualms. Like, the moment he thought, you know, him moving across country, going where he's at now, he, he had no qualms about it. He's like, all right, I'm gone, we gone, we gone down the road, I'm going there. Sigma, Sigmas will do that on a heartbeat. Like if, if they see something, they're gonna if and if they feel like it really resonates with, them, they're gonna go for it. So you know, Sigma personality type. Now the other ones are what I could I know a little bit about, but I really know a lot about the Sigmas because I just resonate with it so much. So something to to look into because you know Sigmas are outside the norm, and unfortunately, you know being trans is quote unquote outside the norm um, so if you're somebody who is outside the typical box you know not saying it's wrong to be with somebody who is inside the typical box nothing wrong with being inside the typical box life can be a lot easier a lot less stressful being inside the typical box but maybe you should consider somebody who is outside of the box who thinks outside the box you know just like you are an individual outside the box you know Blue often likes the color blue. Purple likes purple. You know. so. But yeah, um, I think that's all I'm going to talk about today. Um, oh, I almost forgot too. I have now got, you know, some social medias going now. Um, I have an email account if you have any questions or whatnot. Um, particularly other guys like me, if you have any questions or just want somebody who... Who, who gets it, who, who knows about, you know, being trans attracted or whatnot, like, bro, hit me up at Librium Curatate 13 at Outlook. It's L-I-B-R-I-U-M-C-A-R-I-T-A-T-E 13 at Outlook.com. I'm also going to try to put a link in this video down below. And I'm also on uh, Instagram, just specifically for this YouTube channel. Just look up Librium Caratate on Instagram, uh, and you'll see a picture of me on there. And I'm yeah, that, that's mainly going to be for this channel. And I'm going to try and post other things about trans attraction and all this good stuff. So yeah, just 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 trying to get people to realize that trans people are people like you, bro. Take it easy. Like, let's not hate. 
But yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching. You all have a good day. Have a wonderful life. Treat each other good. At the end of the day, we're all just people generally looking for the same thing. Peace, love, and acceptance. All right, peace.